Decker. And right on their tail for the start here, Stuart Friesen looking for his first win. Rodney Rescott puts the green in the air. We are underway. Charging down into turn number one and two. The Jersey Jeff will use the top line to take the lead down the back straightaway. And on the move is the Armstrong number 11A. He's looking to grab the five spot around the Bacchetti number 34 into corner number three and four. But the first time around, Brett Hearn will lead a lap. Number one, trouble. Turn number four. We've got cars together. We've got a bunch of all this. Turn three and four have just became a parking lot. A tremendous crash, multi-car incident. Looks like at least a dozen, maybe 15 cars all involved. Some of them just slowing up to actually avoid the situation. So we're going to have a number of cars drive away. They are going red. They are calling for the red flag as the track is blocked up there. Danny Johnson's already picked up a bunch of spots by virtue of missing that incident as we are green in the turn number one. Brett Hearn goes to work at the head of the field. He will lead the field on through turns one and two down the back straight over here. What will be for the first time now with Billy Decker chasing Stuart Friesen there third. Got a fire underneath his car as he works up into turn number two. He has fire on the back end of the number one machine as they work into turn number three and four. Hot racing action here at the Valley of Speed and now everybody watching the number one car as it is flashing fire from the rear. Oh, and we got yellow lights are on. Danny Johnson. Oh, and Danny Johnson slowed on the front straightaway with a flat tire. Matt Propello, no place to go. And Propello gives him a shot in the back end and crunches up the front nose as we are under caution. Well, more than a shot there, Shane. That is an understatement. What a, he wailed the backside of Johnson's car to the halfway point. Exciting reason for six place going on right now. Steve Huff has got that spot. Tyler Dipple trying to take it away. And Jimmy Phelps moving into the picture there as well. Huff will go up the hill. He pushes in turn number two. Tyler Dipple pounces. He takes the spot. And as they make their way down off the corner across the line, Andy Bacchetti rides in third. Four spot Billy Decker. And then you've got your first side-by-side -side battle back there for Fiv. And that's been a good one here for the last 10 laps is now Shepard to the inside of Dipple. He'll take the spot away. Hit the run off the hill though, but Shepard a little closer this time as they hit the line. Matt Shepard to the inside of Billy Decker up into turn number one. Side to side, they will go through turn two. Matt Shepard pulls out a hit off of turn two. He gets a run on him down the back straightaway. Looks like he'll make the pass complete up into turn number three. Trying to figure out a way. Is there a way? Trouble in turn four. Matt Shepard just took position number three from Andy Bacchetti. So the Shepard number nine H is up to third, but he is running out of time. Shepard may have the fastest car on the speedway right now. If he got a caution, he would really make this interesting. Got a flat tire. Will we see the caution come out? As the field works their way into turn number three and four. Steve Huff on the bottom side of the speedway. And freeze it gets by Hearn. As Hearn slowed into turn number one and two. Freeze in your new race leader. Hearn's got a flat. A left rear flat on the 20 of Brett Hearn. Unbelievable turn of events. Takes it down into turn number three and four. Stuart Friesen is going to win the Mr. Dirt Track USA 100. Oh, baby. Second will be Matt Shepard. Coming home in third will be Andy Bacchetti. Wow, John Stanley as Tyler Dipple fourth. Kenny Dream on fifth and something going awry on the Hearn number 20. I thought maybe he had a flat tire, but it could be something else. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for 